Mellow greetings, Tubians, Ron and T here, and let's fanfic Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. Summer 11, Year 1, Friday, Sunny. It's never not sunny. I heard that there's a town where it's always sunny, or a city, or something. It's always sunny there. It's kind of like here. I would do many strange things for a day of rain, Journal. Many strange things. Today was, for the most part, quite peaceful. I got up, attended the chooks. I'm sad to say that we're getting close to chook recycling day? That makes it sound a lot more no, no, I can't use that term. That that's that just sounds off. Really off. <laughs> After the chooks, I tended the crops. The pineapples are starting to fruit, but nowhere near picking stage yet. The tomatoes were up, which was nice. Puts a a little bit of bang back in my pocket, which I desperately need right now. Oh boy. Uh, corn stalks are, well, cornless. Huh. I, uh, I tended to rain as ever. It, it took the majority of my day. Seriously, watering is just taking so, so long right now. And I am so tired and sore by the end of it that... I need to do something. There's got to be a more efficient way to do this. I... And the most obvious answer is to upgrade my watering can again. And last time, I, I couldn't have done all of this with my old watering can. No way on the goddess's earth I could have managed it. I'd be dead in a day. So maybe if I upgrade again to a better watering can, it'll hold more water or cover more space. There's got to be something, right? Some way to, to... How do people do this? And I'm managing less than a dozen plots and it's killing me. How, how do the farmers that do all of the, the big fields and fields and fields of crops manage it? And I guess they can afford to hire help. Maybe I should look into some farm hands or some kind of assistance. It might help. I just... The only person I know in town who's looking for work is Cliff, and... I'm not sure this is the kind of work he's looking for. Hmm. Anyway, journal after that, it was head up the mountain, do my foraging, make my offering. I did decide to swing through the mine for a little bit to see if there was any chance that I could find some silver ore so that I could do an upgrade on the watering can. I don't know how much that'll cost. Hopefully not much more than last time because I am kind of broke. Until those pineapples hatch and hatch? They're pineapples, not eggs. Come on, Brenna. Keep it together. Keep it together. I know it's hot. I know your little hut has no air conditioning. We really should have stopped and just doused ourselves in the fish pond, shouldn't we? Yeah, we really, really should have. <sighs> Anywho, I, I, as I said, I went through the mines for a bit, but I didn't have any real food or proper resources with me, and I, I couldn't get very far because it's just... Oh, I was just so tired already, Journal, and... Hitting rocks and hoeing and, and, and it just... Uh. On the positive side, inside the mines it was a little bit cooler. When I left, I ran into a moment that Rick and Karen were having. I felt really like I was eavesdropping. It, it was odd. They were talking about how Rick's dad has gone off. He's he's gone off to hunt something to help his mum. I, I didn't realise that Lilia had things going on, but 
she mustn't be well, and oh, Rick was cranky at his dad for leaving, and Karen encouraged him to remember his responsibilities around the place, and it seemed to be a weird line to take from her. It was almost like it was done by rote somehow. Like she was so used to having this conversation that it just slid straight off her tongue without her stopping to think about it. I felt really guilty for listening in, but they were just out in the open and anybody could have wandered by. It's not like I set it up on purpose or anything. <sighs> After that, I went for a bit of a soak in the hot tub. Uh, like I said, made offering as I ever do. I tried to head up to the pub for a bit to see if I can get a meal, but no cigar. I don't know where they don't serve food at night, but it's problematic. And of course by the time I left it was too late to really go to Kai's, get something to eat there, so I just ran home again and spent some time clearing a bit more and and now I'm here. It's good to be here, Journal. I miss here. Anyway, it's meant to be sunny again tomorrow. Real shocker there. Good night, Jenna. Ah, uh, a beautiful day. Not that it means much. Summer here is always beautiful. Makes it a drab. Except for the storms. They get exciting. Decided to take a walk up to the waterfall. Not my usual day for it. But I figured, what the hey? Gotta live a little care. Well, this town will smother you. Dear Dad. Okay, so cards on the table. I might not feel great about how you left us. I didn't realize it myself in the last few days, but it recently came up. It is always so peaceful by the waterfall. And the sun playing through the spray makes rainbows play out all over. So serene and beautiful, and I sound like a clumping tourist brochure. Come to Mineral Town, where the countryside is beautiful and the residents are trapped in time. <sighs> I was going for a walk the other day, and I ran to Karen. Y you remember Karen, uh, Jeff and Sasha's kid from the general store. She didn't seem too busy, so I went and said hi to her. Rick showed up. He doesn't normally wander out this way, too far from the chickens and potpourri. The company was a welcome distraction from all the serenity of nature. I've been worried about him lately. I know summer isn't his favourite time, what with Kai being here and all. Karen's good people. We hang out sometimes, and she's always been good company. If I ever need to talk to someone about life, she's one of the first people I can ask to lend a ear. I asked him if he'd heard from his dad recently. Not sure if I envy him what with the missing father thing. It's a story and all, but I also see how much it tears him up. My dad is a bit of a toy flower, but I'd miss him if he were gone. And Rick's dad has been gone a long time now. Today, though, pretty much the first thing out of her mouth was asking if we'd heard from you recently. And I... Well, you know the answer, obviously. I told her the truth, that you haven't checked in since you left. Uh, since you left me to take care of my sick mother and my kid sister. Wine, wine, hmm, wine. <clears throat> Sometimes I think he gets so lost in his anger that he can't see the bigger picture. How amazing and romantic it is that his dad is roaming the world to find a rare flower to cure his beloved wife from what ails her. That is amazing. But all he sees is that his dad is gone. We have no way to know if you're still even looking, or if you let yourself get distracted and we'll never see you again. Uh, 
I know we don't talk about it much. But, 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 but why would you do that, Dad? It's been years. And you haven't so much as sent us a postcard to let us know you're alive. I could strangle him. Try looking outside your own head for once, Rick Mipple. What about Lilia? Don't see her whining to the gaggle about her woes. And Popery never met a happier person. But you are all doom and chickens. As far as we know, you're never coming back. and Mum's never going to get better. Karen didn't take my complaining too badly. She reminded me that you had to do it so we could find the cure for Mum to get better. And that's true. <sighs> Just had to breathe. He always does this to me. I spent the next 20 minutes calming him down, reminding him of all the positives. When did I become his agony aunt? I'm not a cheery font of wisdom. He should go see Rand for that. So why does he always come to me for soothing? We might not know if you're anywhere near finding the flower, but we definitely know Mum's not going to get better without it. Karen reminded me that whether you check in or not, it's true that I have to take care of Mum and Popery. You've got your job to do, and I've got mine. I'll be making sure that there's still a home for you to come back to if... No, when you come back. I reminded him of his responsibilities. That seemed to stiffen his spine at least. Maybe I could make him a reference card or something he could carry with him to stay grounded. I'll have a word to Marie about it, maybe. I really do appreciate how Karen dealt with my complaints. She gave me the shoulder I needed to cry on and called me out when I got too down on you. She really is a good friend. Well, he thanked me at least. He's kind of adorable when he is trying to be all humble-like. Still, I helped my friend, and while I still want to smash an egg down his trousers, he seems a little more at peace. I still have a problem with you never trying to contact us, but we'll talk about that when we get a chance to, I guess. Anyway... I never told you how Cluck Cluck Clash went, did I? Well, let me tell you, it was a sumo smash. <laughs> a perfect day of foul play. And after all that excitement, I headed back to the shop and tried to convince Dad to let me reorganize the shelves to make our general stock more appealing to the customers. He said I could sweep if I wanted. <sighs> I need a drink. Summer 12, Year 1, Saturday. Still sunny. I'm tired of being hot, General. I'm tired of the rivulets of sweat running down my back. From my elbows, my knees. I'm tired of getting changed because my socks are sodden. There is nothing that feels worse than walking around in soggy socks. I'm going to maintain that to my dying day. Soggy socks are the worst. Summer rolls on. Slowly. Sluggishly. Hotly. And it's just so humid. I'm sure it's great for the crops, but it's not great for the farmer. Ugh. <sighs> It was a quiet day today. I tended the chooks. I tended the crops. That almost killed me. Again. So I ran up the mountain. I foraged. I made offering. I spent something like two hours soaking in the hot springs because it just felt good. 
You'd think it'd be counterproductive, wouldn't you? It's the middle of summer and here I am relaxing in a hot spring of all places. Isn't there a cold spring equivalent? Maybe I could bring some ice cubes or something, but... Oh. I don't actually know if I have a way to make ice cubes. I need to prick my freezer harder. But somehow it was still restful. After a couple of hours in there, I felt almost human again. Like I could move. But by that time, the sun had set. This is not good. And if I'm struggling this much now, how am I going to go in autumn? Autumn is, according to everything I've read, one of the biggest planting seasons of the year. So many varieties of crops that I'm going to want to grow at least one of everything, and, and at least it'll be cooler. <sighs> when I got out of the hot spring, I made a beeline for the beach. Wanted to go check out Kai's place again, and I actually spoiled myself a little. I really couldn't afford it, but you got to do something nice for yourself, or you just you just fade away. So I got there and I got myself some flavoured shaved ice which I haven't had since I was a kid and it was so refreshing. And sure it didn't do a lot towards filling me with energy and verve and vigour and at this point I think I need a permanent caffeine drip but just that crunch of the ice and the mixture of the sweet syrup and just Feeling that cold all the way down. Oh, it was amazing. It was bliss. Heavenly, perhaps. Oh, that might be going too far. Kai did watch me to worn out for the heat, which is weird for a guy who only works here in summer. And I, maybe he likes the heat. Maybe it's just his traveling schedule. I, I don't know. Huh. Maybe I can buy a fan. On the way back, I stopped and said hello to a couple of people. Rick, Zach, a few others I ran into. But mostly, I just came home. And there's not much to say anymore because almost all of my waking hours are spent watering the crops and tending the chickens and giving Ray and Pat's, but there's got to be more to it than this, right? And the excitement's still there. I, I still love the moment when the crops bloom and when they fruit and flower, but I don't know. I just need an easier day. I need a day of rain or someone to come do my watering for me. It'll be sunny again tomorrow, Journal. We're surprised by that, aren't we? Hmm. Night.